Hi, Tom Hebel here from Bucks Country Gardens. I'm going to talk about a little bit of uh, watering and plant care with you today. Uh, we're going to start out talking about the, the instruments we're going to use. I used to use a, a commercial grade hose, but it seems that uh, they're a little bit bulky and people want to make watering an easy task these days, so we've gone to using pocket hoses. make it uh, simple to go long distances without a lot of weight. So I have a pocket hose, I have a water wand with a diffuser on the end which diffuses the water so that you don't blow the mulch away and hurt your plants. I also have an on off switch so I can turn it off and on at will. A lot of our diffusers actually have a built in on off switch these days. So I have my pocket hose in my left hand and my water diffuser with a shut off valve in my right hand and it's critical that inside here we have a black, green, or brown rubber washer. Well, it could be red too, uh, but that will keep your hose from leaking which is critical. So now we're going to look at how you water different plants. Well here we have a hanging basket. This is a, a, a commercial grade hanging basket, a little bit different than yours. Ours has a water reservoir in the bottom of the basket so the water won't drip out. But when we water a basket, we turn our water on full blast with the diffuser and work our way around the flowers. Try not to water in direct sunlight, but I always tell my customers, when a plant is hungry for food or thirsty for water, don't wait. Do it when it needs it. So if it's sunny and hot and your plant's dry, water your plant. We're gonna water an established plant in the ground that probably won't need water very often, but if it's a dry, hot spell, you would water it. Or let's just assume it's a new plant. That I put the hose with the diffuser right in the center of the plant and turn it on full blast. I work it around where the root system is and then I see water rolling off on the ground and I stop. I then would go on and water all the rest of my plants in the garden that need water. Uh, and then I would turn around, come back and water a second time. Hitting that plant with water the second time allows the water to be absorbed thoroughly for the root, through the root system and you won't have quite so much runoff. Next we're going to water a container. Now this could be a plant waiting to be planted in your garden, or it could be a container garden or a planter on your front porch patio or, or pool deck. Uh, again, we'll turn the water on full blast with the diffuser, hitting right in that center of the plant, making sure that we get plenty of water and the water will start coming out the base of the container and little holes provided. Now the water is coming out the bottom of the container. You can see that. And but that's how we want to water every time we water a container, be it a hanging basket or a planter. I uh, want to make sure that water comes the whole way through the root zone. And that way you know your plant will be thoroughly watered and it will encourage deep, uh, thorough root growth. Uh, in closing, just a couple of points about watering in general. Number one, it's art, not science. I do it my way, you might do it your way. I love the, the water full blast and move around quickly and come back and repeat. Some people would rather water slowly and spend all day in their yard. Uh, I'm a little too busy for that. Second of all, don't use sprinklers on plants. Use sprinklers on lawns. Uh, the sprinklers don't put much water on the plant at all and uh, actually can be detrimental, encouraging surface roots. Sprinklers are for the lawn, water wands and hoses are for plants. Uh, third thing, really important, make it easy. Start your watering at the end of your garden, not at the beginning. So go to the, heart, the farthest point from your hose bin. Uh, start watering there with your hose fully extended, then work your way back. Hit it a second time and you'll be finished. Happy watering! <laughs>